I've shown you some things that I love, but these are my most sacred dearest tools to me. I've had these for a long time, and um, this right here is the all original 1963 Fender Jazz Bass. This is probably my most valuable and prized bass guitar that I have. I can tell you firsthand that every bass player from Jimmy Lee Sloves, Mark Hill, Joey Cannaday, everybody that plays this bass tries to steal it from me because it is one of the best playing pieces of wood I've ever put my hands on. Um, I've had this bass probably 16 years now, and it's been on every Rascal Flatts record but the first three. The first song, here's a little bit of trivia for you. Uh, by the way, it's really rare to have Shoreline Gold here and the matching headstock. That almost never happened, so this is a really rare find. Um, but the first song I ever played this bass on was What Hurts the Most, off of the Me and My Gang record in 2006. And I've been playing it ever since. So um, this bass is the one that I pick up most of the times when I'm in the studio. Uh, it's not tuned E, A, D, G. I tune this one down to the low string is a C sharp so that I'm able to play in the E position out of the G position. Um, may sound a little confusing, but once you get used to reading numbers in the number system, it's, uh, it really becomes second nature. This bass is fat and round, and it is silky, silky smooth. So you've heard this bass. If you've listened to anything we've done since 2005, you've heard this bass on many of our records. The 1963 Fender Jazz Bass.